The Wicked Witch of the West is dead. Goodbye, Uro. No one's gonna miss you. We'll see you later. In case you guys haven't heard, Uro's banned. It's gone. It's out of here. It's gone from Historic, whoever plays that. It's gone from Pioneer. It's gone from Modern. It's gone. It might even be gone on Legacy 2. Steven with Magic Metal Money, thanks for tuning in. Uro's gone. And we didn't find out through the traditional B&R announcement, you know, banner restricted announcement by Ian Duke, uh, given on Monday mornings. Instead, out of all places to find out about this ban, it was Secret Lair. Yeah, that's right. So Secret Lair has all the power in the world now. Not only can they, you know, decide to reprint absolutely anything, skip the whole traditional supply chain, go directly to consumer, uh, and, and just sell singles, but now they can even do bans. Pretty cool. Didn't know they had such power. Honestly, is anyone sad about Uro being banned? Only people who own the card, right? <laughs> Only people who watch their card go from $35 to whatever, 13, <laughs> 10, 10, 5, whatever it's going to go to. So other than that, no one's really sad. As far as playability of the game, Uro's not a fun card, right? Time Walk is one of the power nine for a reason. Uro is a time walk, okay? You know, Uro's been compared, there's been countless articles written about Uro. People who are way smarter than me, who know the game way better than me, future Hall of Famers, you know, current Hall of Famers who talked about the card. Uh, it's very, very powerful. Turns out, adding one extra mana to an explorer, but gaining three life uh, in a lot of constructed formats really feels like a time walk. Uh, and then also, the thing comes back. You can't get rid of it. And then when it attacks, it does it all again. So uh, the card's obviously just too powerful. The play patterns are very repetitive, uh, very boring, very hard to overcome. You, you, it's, it's a card that wins the game completely by itself without requiring a lot as far as you know deck construction or, or anything like that. So no one's sad to see it go. We, and I don't think anyone's really that surprised. You know, if you've played in a format with the card, it was already gone from standard. It was only a matter of time. The fact that it's leaving, you know, modern and legacy. Well, legacy is still on the table, but it wouldn't be too surprising. But the fact that immediately it's just gone from, from pioneer, modern, historic, all at once. Wow, uh, that, that, that's really getting the axe, really getting the hammer there. So funny we find out about this through the reprint. I mean, let's take a look at this card again. It is absolutely beautiful. You know, I just barely posted a video and I spent half my time talking about how much I love these frames for Kaldim. You know, the showcase frames are absolutely gorgeous. These Norse wood carvings, they're awesome. And to see it on these Titans, super cool. Uh, but uh, for Uro, you're buying a card that you can't play with. <laughs> so that, that's interesting. Secret Lair just said, hey, you know, obviously they, I'm sure they designed these cards quite a while ago and these cards have been ready to go and, and in development for the Secret Lair drop. They knew they were gonna do this uh, before they realized, okay, we do need to ban this card in every format. So I do think it's right. Wizards is doing us right by announcing, hey, before you all go out and buy this product, uh, you should know you're not gonna be able to use it in any constructed format unless you're one of the very few people who actually play Legacy in paper, uh, even then, then, maybe not we might we might not let you guys play with it either so clearly this, is, this card is now just for casual and commander and I think it's right that they make that announcement I think that's exactly what you should do it would feel really really scummy if they would have banned this card and announced it you know next week or next month right after doing this reprint uh, I also think it's funny how you take this one and you compare it to the Croxa you know they both have two other Titans Frost Titan Primeval whatever uh, Grave Titan and what's the other one I'm forgetting Inferno Titan so they're paired up, you know, with two others each, but, but the fact that they just straight up made it $5 cheaper is just hilarious. You know, clearly when they originally designed these, these were going to be the exact same price point. They were both going to be at 30 or 40 for, you know, regular versus foil. And instead they said, all right, well, since, since Uro, you know, since the most recent one, each, each package, each one has two Titans that aren't worth very much money. And then one of the most recent Titans from Theros, Theros Beyond Death. The fact that they just said, okay, well, this one, we're banning the card, so we'll just make it $5 cheaper. Uh, pretty pretty transparent what's going on there. You know, just the reality of, hey, since you can't use this card, no one's going to want it as much. we got to knock $5 off the price to hope to sell them more of them. But uh, honestly, it, it makes sense. I think they're doing us right. Now, who's the real loser here? Like I said, it, it feels bad, you know, if you just bought these cards. I mean, I personally bought my copies of Croaks just not too long ago from a modern gen deck. Uh, and I just got regulars. I didn't get any fancy ones. I didn't get the full art or foil or anything. But seeing these, kind of wish I would have waited. Kind of wish I would have waited. It feels a little bad to know that I just bought these. Not because of, like, price. Sure, maybe my cards went down by three bucks or whatever. But uh, just because, I don't know, I might have wanted these ones. 
<laughs> these ones are pretty cool. The Kroxa is beautiful. I mean, look at this. Uh, this is a cool looking car with the frame. So, uh, kind of feels bad. But what really feels bad is those who are holding Theros Beyond Death booster boxes. Those collector booster boxes, oh my gosh. You know, it's always been a meme how bad they did, how they were the first ones that just tanked. They were the first collector's box that really just did horrible. And they went down to like 180 and they propped back up recently. They're around like 190 or so, but there was someone who was just trying to fire sell them. You know, they just undercut the market to get rid of their position. They just wanted out. Maybe they needed to free up cash. Maybe, it, you know, it, it's not necessarily an indicator of, of the product itself, but maybe it is. But for one reason or another, you know, this particular seller said, hey, I got, you know, 350 boxes of these. I want to get rid of them. Fire sale, 173. What? <laughs> 173? These things are supposed to be like 250. So the fact that they just got rid of it at 173, and yeah, I think there's one left. It's probably sold by now, but by the time you're watching this, other people are going to race to the bottom too. I think people just recognize, hey, Wizards literally took a product that is in standard it's currently in printing you know it's it's it, it's a current product and they said we're going to take the three most valuable cards from it we're going to take the two titans and then we're going to take heliod and that's three of the top six most valuable cards you know there's still thassa's oracle and you know nick's bloom ancient and elysian grove well, i can't think of the name of the card you know what i'm talking about that is crazy they just took three of the top six and just said we're going to print all these again Okay, well, <laughs> turns out uh, if you had any Theros Collector's booster boxes, the EV is just getting tanked because now there's just new versions of that product that are even fancier than the Collector's version. Now you have a more unique, cool version than the Collector's version. Okay, uh, not to mention, oh, one of those cards is just getting banned in every format. You can't play with it anymore. These things are going to go down. Uh, I think more people will see. They'll go down back down to 180. I wouldn't be surprised. And I don't know if these will ever recover, man. I mean, long term, sure, five, ten years from now, they'll be worth something. But I can't imagine the rate of return is going to be above 5% a year. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's going to be bad. But, uh, you know, that's what happens when you just print and reprint and reprint and make the money machine go burr.